what is up everybody it's your boy back at it again with another video and today i kind of wanted to talk about something that i'm pretty sure we've all had questions about and i'm i don't know it seems like i could rant about it or whatever and maybe if you guys have like any answers yourselves or similar questions or statements you could go ahead and comment all that in the comments down below but basically it's uh my question initially was how long is this pandemic situation gonna last, right? How long is it gonna last? And at first, you know, people were like, yo, give us some time, no big deal, da 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 da. But literally, this is the longest problem that the world has had. I mean, related to a pandemic related situation. First off, I don't think we've ever really had a serious pandemic to this scale before. I mean, if we did, they weren't like, it didn't require you to, you know, uh, quarantine like that and da da da. I remember when we had swine flu and um, you know Ebola was running a rampant and stuff worldwide, and we did not treat that nearly as serious as this. And they and the thing is, they were freaking out. If you if you remember back in the day when like you know um, the swine flu was a thing, people were like, oh my god, it's crazy, it's deadly, da da da. And, you know, people were freaking out. But, you know, obviously I know that everybody's like, oh, but this spreads faster and da 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 da. More people get affected. But it's not nearly as deadly as Ebola or swine flu. So I'm just like, bruh, how have we like dragged this out? Now, I know there's a lot of crazy things. Um, people were saying that obviously um, as it spreads, you know, very rapidly and stuff like that. Uh, you know, people that get it right, like, you know, they can get it again because this this thing, um, I'm not going to say what it is. Uh, you, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. But when you get it right, it mutates. So like, you know, you can get over it the first time. But there's a possibility that it like that it's makeup changes pretty much. Right. And um, you're susceptible of getting it another time. And, you know, if people who have respiratory problems, you know, kind of, you know, they, they have a rough time with it and stuff. And the, I, I understand all that. Right. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to come up with a vaccination. But I was just like, bro, like <laughs> this is taking forever. I mean, yeah, at first, you know, people were kind of, you know, I, I'm not going to lie. People who are working. Um, at least like salary jobs are like, all right, that's not bad. Like, you know, you get to get a few days off work, you know, whatever. Um, and, you know, obviously you have to, you know, make sure you're keeping your distance from people and stuff like that. And I'm like, awesome. This will be over in a few months, right? A few months goes by, nothing. And we've almost gone the entire year of 2020 battling this. Now, I know another argument that's valid is uh you know people aren't respecting the wearing your mask thing like people go outside they don't wear their masks and it just prolongs the entire thing but if you go from that like knowledge right because i feel like the real reason well in my opinion personally maybe it has something to do people have been you know teasing that it has something to do with politics and at first i'm like nah bro they wouldn't do that but then i looked at everything and i'm like bro of course they would do something like this. I mean, how cool would it be to be the first person to to say that you single-handedly ended a worldwide pandemic? How how cool would that be? That would be pretty insane. But like, you know, cuz people would be behind you, they'd be like, "Oh my god, this is this is this is insane whatever." This is just me venting. Now, um, obviously, everybody, I encourage strongly everybody um, adhere to the whatever the guidelines are in your respective country. And I, I do too, just to be on the safe side, obviously, right? I'll wear a mask when I go out. I like make sure I'm not doing anything um, that can jeopardize anybody else's safety, you know, based on the, the new guidelines that are set for, you know, people. But I'm like, bro, this is insane. Like, because I, I ask all the time, I'm like, do we know when this is going to end? And I get like kind of weird one-off answers oh like it should be done in the next few months oh it's gonna be it should be over by the end of next year like there's people who have literally already laid off like um well not even laid off but they have pretty much issued a an order to stay home until pretty much june or july of next year and i'm just like bruh now 
Why am I talking about this? Uh, Odyssey is for selfish reasons. <laughs> because, I mean, think about it, man. Like, I, I, I really, really, really wanted to... Um, obviously travel i made a video on this earlier and stuff like that i know it's not that serious but i'm just like bro like if you think about it i, I looked at my I, I like you know just sat down and and thought to myself i've never seen anybody drag something like like this out as long as they have and you think and, and if you think about it even deeper right you always you will literally always have people rebelling against whatever the rules are imagine this Here, here's here's my thing i'm 100 percent sure um even if people didn't outright outright disobey the the rules set in place, um, we would still be in this situation. And like I said, I feel like it all kind of ties back into possible politics, man. Because the running joke I've been seeing everywhere is that wow, like this whole thing miraculously gets cured shortly after you know certain political events are over. <laughs> And I think it's kind of crazy, man. Um, and I know maybe people are too afraid to speak their mind on the on the matter. This is just me venting and stuff. And if you guys have anything to add to it, let me know in the comments down below. I mean, and yes, I understand. I actually, and here's here's what's even crazier, right? Because I'm like, man, this thing must be real serious. Like this is this is insane. I actually know um, about I'd say eight or nine people that have actually gotten what the entire pandemic has been about right and i've messaged them and i got to you know facetime them talk to them and, and like ask them like what it was like da, da, da. and i mean to be real with you it doesn't seem that bad like they they all got over it yeah it's it's not it's like something a little bit worse than like your generic like you know annual cough or cold or flu or whatever right it's 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 a little bit it's a bit more serious than that but also too like um it's it, it does go away it does go away and the mortality rate is super super like okay like the, the amount of people that live afterward is high <laughs> okay so it there's like a i think they said what it's like something like it's in the 90 percent uh, I'm, I'm gonna take a wild guess and and round it up to 95 percent chance that you're making it out of there in good shape you know but then everybody's argument is like oh no one should be you know um passing away from something like this and i'm like yeah but if you look at the flu's mortality rate man the flu has a lower mortality rate than honestly the 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 current situation that we're in right now <laughs> so it's it's kind of insane and i just want to know when it's all going to end okay because like there are countries out there that have adhered to all the NAM guidelines and da 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 da, and they've you know, um, I mean yeah they they they're they're more open. You're able to do a lot more and whatnot. But the thing is, it's almost like whack a mole. One country gets their stuff together, and then another country messes up. Another country gets their stuff together, and then a different country messes up. And I'm like, bruh, honestly, what when are we just going like just chalk this up to a to a L? And then just let the thing run its course. Because here's what could happen, right? Let's just say we we stop doing what we're doing right now. Let's say everybody in the world gets it. Well, I mean, it would be like everybody in the world getting the, the regular, like, you know, I think and the flu that passes around all the time. Only difference, and like I said, that's what's that's what's kind of scary about it, and that's why I understand why we have the, the, the rules in place is basically the... Um, we don't have a vaccine. <laughs> we do not have a vaccine for it. I mean, there's been talks about it and stuff and trials and everything. So hopefully they work. But it's just kind of crazy to me. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This is me just ranting, getting it off my chest. It's very frustrating. It's affecting so much. So much, man. Like, it's literally been the umbrella over 2020. And it's been super ridiculous. Uh, but hopefully that, you know, resonated with somebody out there. Um, obviously, until things get better, make sure you you follow the rules that make sure that other people don't, um, you know, obviously get affected or, you know, um, basically stay safe, stay safe, stay safe. That's all I can say. I'm not sure why I'm stuttering so much, but I'm going to I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go make some more videos for you guys. Um, and that's pretty much it, man. I just it's just kind of crazy. It's very crazy. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> Anyways, take.